been filming so long you guys it's been like a week and i said i would make this video and have it out like on the 14th or 15th and it's like the 18th of the day um i would have filmed if i could have but basically between school and work i was crazy busy like crazy you guys and then because of bad weather and um my teachers um getting the second a lot of my teachers got the second shot for the virus you know the um the vaccine or whatever and they had a lot of symptoms so we had remote days for a few days and then bad weather and there was something with my mom's work too um so basically my mom and sister were home for a while and i wasn't able to film and this was late at night but then it's been super cold so my dog's been sleeping like really close to where i film lately um instead of where she normally sleeps um because she likes to sleep in the garage so normally we'll let her sleep in the garage but it's been really cold out lately, so we've been making her come inside since it's been getting really cold, which makes it kind of hard to film. Um, so yeah, she sleeps like right there. <laughs> um, and I film normally like sitting right there. Um, and actually the reason I'm filming at a slightly different place today is because uh, the lighting is causing a huge glare in my glasses, which right here, unless I, let me see, if I do this, is it better? Cause there's either gonna be a shadow on my face or a glare, and either way, I find that super annoying. Let's see, can we, can we move it? Oh, here's not so bad. Okay, let me get my little question list. Um, also, I have new glasses, you guys. Um, you'll still see my in my old like brown circle pair for a while, just because I pre-filmed a lot of videos wearing those. But yeah, I have these ones, and they're a little bit different for me. Um. Not sure what I think uh, they are. Just a little bit taking a bit to get my eyes used to them, so I'm making weird faces with my eyes or, you know, anything like that. So that's why um, I'm super rambly and this is like introductions all over the place. I'm so sorry. And I feel like. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. My hair is a mess and I'm just a mess, guys. I've had so much trouble lately motivating myself to do my schoolwork and it's bad, but. That being said, let's get into the questions. Thank you so much to everyone who gave me a survey response with um, questions for this video or commented. I actually have quite a few. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and answer them all and tell you what they are. I wanted to be able to um, like put them on the screen, but then I realized that might invade people's privacy and I don't know how to do that. And I don't have, like I said before, I don't have the option to get editing programs on this computer. So we'll just work with what we have. Um, guys, I'm so rambly. I'm really sorry. And I feel like for like the last like three minutes I wasn't looking at the viewfinder thing. So again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the first question is why did I start ASMR? Um, this is kind of like a long answer. I mean, I could get a short one, but I guess I'll give you the long explanation. Um, so basically I used to always just really like, I watch ASMR. I've been watching it for like two years, probably like almost every night. And I love it. I watch it during the day if I'm stressed or just want something to watch. Um, and helps me sleep and relax and I just love it um and it's also kind of entertaining because so, there's some role plays that are like to help me sleep but I find them to be super entertaining just watch you know like you know you would any other like youtuber um just like a normal one that's like you know what I mean it, not necessarily that's geared towards sleep but like you know what I mean um gosh dang it <laughs> I'm so off topic and I keep this I think nail um like youtubers do like um documentaries or like question and answer videos or like lifestyle that kind of thing or food videos or diys that kind of thing like those videos that most people watch during the day um i like kind of watch asmr as that now a lot um and like the world place i don't find to be super relaxing also watch during the day or like the ones that are just like them talking i like to watch those during the day too Guys, I'm sorry, I have an eyelash in my eyeball and it hurts. Um, <laughs> I'm just so, so, like, open and genuine, just like, constantly embarrass myself on here, and I guess that's just who I am. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, what's going on with my hair? Oh, what is she doing? My dog's out there being a crazy dog. I think she's playing with snow. Anyways, she's just running around out there, and we'll let her in a little bit after I make this video, because... She'll probably want in by then, but, um, okay, so, basically, I always used to, like, watching ASMR, and then one day I was like, oh, like, um, it was probably two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I was like, oh, I could do ASMR on my own, but I didn't have a computer, then so I do it on my phone, and it would 
really crappy and it was so grainy and such bad quality and for a while I just did them as private because I thought it was like fun to do in my own time I think I started uploading them as public but then at the time me and my younger sister had a shared email and um my sister told my mom and mom got annoyed so I had to like take it down or whatever and just like make up a story about like how it wasn't public order and then I had to make it private and delete it and then I made a bunch of videos that were um that were um private on there I just shamed my boyfriend I just had so much fun doing them um and my mom knew I did those ones but she just thought they were just private and she knew it was just for me and I don't think she even knew I was uploading them to YouTube I think she just thought I was just doing them on my phone um but then eventually my boyfriend like convinced me to actually do an ASMR channel because I'd wanted to do it for so long I've been talking about it and like kind of just making ideas for it and stuff but then like this always would back out I just don't know why but I would back out and he finally comes to me I should so then I came up with a name and made an email for it and did a channel and did like a welcome to my channel thing and I'm not sure if I ended up keeping it on here but there I went through my videos that were on my old email account the ones that were private and I was like, if any of these are good enough, I'm like proud of them. So I'll put them on this channel. Um, a lot of them were grainy and really laggy, so I just deleted them. Um, there was one. It was a post office role play. I was trying to upload it on here because I like saved, I downloaded it to my Gmail and then like or my Drive or something like that, and then I sent it to this computer. And then I um, this like lighting makes me look like really like shiny. Oh my gosh, my dog is being crazy, guys, and I don't know why. But anyways, um. I sent it to this Gmail, and then I had to download it, and then I had to post it. <laughs> a lot of downloading, basically. Um, and I'm pretty sure somewhere along the way my Wi-Fi like stopped working or something, so it stopped. And then, like, I had to really delete it off my phone because my phone has very, very limited storage space, and it will get like slow and not do anything if I don't keep my videos and pictures and stuff like that under a certain amount. So I had deleted it on my phone right away, and um, I had sent it to my email, and then. Like, I think I deleted the email even or something. I'm not sure, but basically, it was downloading. And somewhere in the process of downloading, uploading to YouTube, something like that, it stopped and it wouldn't work again. And then when it did, I think it ended up being laggy after I did that for some reason. Or I think actually what happened is the voice, like the audio was really off. And I was like, there's no point in uploading this. Although it might be uploaded because I feel like I vividly remember seeing on my channel not too long ago. If it is, I'm going to feel really dumb. I'll maybe put it in the description and I'll tell you, like, oh yeah, here's the video and here's the link. But if not... It's not up. I feel like I deleted it, but maybe it didn't end up going up. But it was a post office role play, and I was always wearing a blue sweater. But maybe I did it. Maybe I redid it on here. I can't remember, guys. And I literally just spent <laughs> so much, so long talking about a question and got way off topic. But basically, because I really like ASMR, and I was like, this is so relaxing and fun to do, and I really enjoyed doing it. And I was like, I want to help other people, and so I decided to do that. Um, so yeah, because some of my favorite years and I've been watching since they were small. Um, and I was like, hmm, well, there's nothing wrong with being a small ASMR. It's their small YouTuber and I like it. So yeah, okay. What's your favorite school subject? English. Definitely English. I love English. I'm going to major in college in English. I love editing books. I love books. I love reading. I love writing. I'm a nerd, guys. <laughs> um, favorite trigger? Um, I don't really know. I know I like a lot of like doctors, like dentist videos. I really like to watch those. Um, I, other role plays are okay too. I like, I didn't like like medical ones or like office, like secretary, that kind of ones. Um, dermatologist ones are nice too. Um, personal assistant ones sometimes are nice. Sometimes I don't like people's versions of that. Um, I used to like the makeup ones a lot and I didn't really like that. I find the brushing one it's super, it makes me super sleepy, like the brushing the camera like this with the brush in there and like a, big, a makeup brush, you know? Um, I'm not sure if that's actually just because it's a, like a really like favorite trigger of mine. I don't think it is. It's just really honestly, it makes you blink and blinking a lot makes you tired, you know? So, well, for me at least. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not sure what my favorite distinct trigger would be. I kind of like like some, like the hand movements kind of thing. Um, gosh, I feel like I've said, like, I've, like, thought about this and like, oh, yeah, that's my favorite trigger, but now at the moment I can't think of it. Um, I don't know, I'm looking out the window, I should be looking at you guys, sorry. Um, as I continue to keep looking off. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure. I don't know, but I do, like, like I said, medical and, like, secretary type of videos. Um, what's the first memory you have of experiencing ASMR? 
honestly, it's not like other ASMR artists where I'm like, oh yeah, my friend used to do her makeup or do this sort of or that, and like, I don't know, I find it super relaxing, and then I realize there's a name for it, it's ASMR, like, no, I just, um, one day I saw this YouTuber I used to watch sometimes, I think it was like on my homepage or something, or it just, I was looking at her YouTube channel, and she had one that was like, like ASMR, like, sounds, eating sounds or something, um, I don't know who it was. I know there's several a people, like normal YouTubers I watch, that started doing ASMR, like eating or just random sounds. And I watched that and I kind of got into ASMR from that, but I'm not sure who it was first. I know I've watched um, Amy. Um, she's like a British, I think would be the word. Um, I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm not, I might be wrong. I'm not exactly sure where she lives, but she is over like in the UK area, I think. And guys, I'm terrible at geography, so sorry. Um, but her name used to be, um, she changed it to Amy Johnson, but now she changed it back to Hello, It's Amy. So I don't know, but it's basically Amy, A-M-I-E. Um, she's pretty popular. I'm sure you've all heard her, but she's done some eating ASMR videos. Um, and then there's another girl. I'm not sure if she's an actual ASMR artist or not. I can't remember her name though, but she's like, this is gonna be like every other YouTuber pretty much, but she's like really tan, has like blonde hair. And that's all I remember about her. Um, but I remember like she would eat pickles and like mochi and like um, Cheetos or like talk Takis, that kind of thing on camera. And then I watched a few other people's, but they are wasn't super relaxing. Um, their videos weren't. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really sure what the first one I have is. I just know I've seen it started out because I've seen like several normal you normal YouTubers that don't do ASMR do ASMR feed videos, and then I kind of like liked it, and then I got into it from there and started like looking it up more and more. Who are your favorite bands or musician musicians? Um, I kind of listen to a variety of people and just like genres. Like I listen to country. <laughs> Sorry guys, I listen to country. I listen to a lot of eighties. Um, today's hits. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know why I'm just sitting here thinking. Uh, some. I guess I'll just tell you some song I've been listening to lately that I like. Um, Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. That one's a good one. It really puts you in your feels. Um, obviously, WAP's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'll get one inappropriate one in there. Um. Let's see, um, I like Luke Bryan a lot, um, Morgan Wallen's pretty good, Kane Brown's really good, I like him a lot too, um, those are all country singers, um, Karen Underwood is pretty good, Taylor Swift, although I don't like a lot of her newer music, um, that's just my personal opinion, though, a lot of people like it, I just don't, um, Jason Derulo's pretty good, I've been listening to him a lot lately, um, oh, and, um, Ava Max, I've been listening to a lot of Ava Max, she has some really good songs, um, I really like her. Um, but my music taste changes all the time. And, um, Sher Lloyd, I think I'm pronouncing that right. She's another, um, singer from the UK. She's pretty good. I don't listen to a lot of bands, so. But, yeah, I like 80s and today's. But not, like, a lot of people, they think of today's hitting, like, the rap stuff or, like, whatever's on the radio. And that's not super my style. I'm more, like, I listen to more of the music that was, like, in, that was, like, really popular and was, like, cool and all that stuff, like, months ago. <laughs> I don't know, um, like, like some of Ava Max's songs, like, I like her older ones a lot more, um, those are the ones I mainly listen to, or, like, Jason Derulo's, like, ones from, like, 2014, like, or something like that, you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so, like, when I say today's hits, I guess I mean, like, yesterday's hits, I guess? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really dumb face I made, so ignore it. Um, why did you start ASMR? Um, oh, I already wrote that down, why did I write that down twice? I'm not sure. Um, let's see, did I answer them all? Why did I start ASMR? What's your favorite school subject? Favorite trigger? First memory? Favorite bands or musicians? And why did you start ASMR? Well, it looks like it's it then. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of other ones. Let's see here. Let's see. What are some basic questions? Oh, favorite color? I really like blue and mint green. Um, not like a dark blue, like a light blue and mint green. Um, although I like a lot of colors. Um, for the longest time when I was singer, it was pink, and then I kind of grew out of that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Favorite animal? Well, I have a dog right now, but I'm a huge cat person. I love cats. I'm actually allergic. They make me sneeze a lot, just like the pollen and the, um, the like dust in their fur, especially long fur cats or cats that are inside or just, you know, houses that are pretty dusty anyways. Um, 
But if I take allergy medicine, not for cats, but like for seasonal allergies, because I do have seasonal allergies, which is why I'm allergic to cats, because of the stuff that's in their fur. Um, most of the time I'm fine. But I love cats as a volunteer at the local animal shelter and walking the dogs and taking care of the cats and kittens. I love kittens. I've had so many cats in my life. Um, so many. And I don't have any now, just because, um, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. The area we live in, um, well, okay. So I'll just go ahead and say this. Um, my family, currently we live a little bit, like, outside of a town, um, well, a few towns. And so we're kind of living in the country, I guess you could say, maybe suburbs, depends on how you look at it. Um, we have a decent sized yard, but our cats, we let have free reign. They can go outside, you know, they have a doggy door, all that stuff. And a lot of them despite our best efforts to keep them inside and keep them safe, um, we'll get loose and um, coyotes will get them or cars will hit them or something um, like that. Oh, a few have died, like natural causes, old age, that kind of thing. And there have been several litters that we've obviously found good homes for because, you know, we can't keep all the kittens we have. Unfortunately, I would love to. I'm going to be that crazy cat lady. Um, but yeah, and I would want to have a cat again, but I'm going to college soon and my mom and my sister, I'm sure, wouldn't want to have to take care of my cat for years until I get my own house, and it wouldn't be fair to the cat to get on, and it wouldn't be fair to the cat because it's not a good living situation because I don't want to have another cat just to have it run away or something, and obviously you can try, but it's not like it's a kid. You can say, hey, like, that's dangerous. Like, the cat's not going to understand that. You know what I mean? Um, so we have dogs. We just found another dog, and she passed away to old age, and then we got another dog. A year ago, I think it was. Let's see, we got her when she was like four months old. Or not four months. No, she was not four months. She was like six months. We got her when she was like five or six months old. And okay, she was a year in um, October, I believe. So, yeah. She is a year. And some months. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to come up with that. And I feel like my eyes look funny now because I looked out the sun, like outside, and it's really bright in my seeing black spots now. <laughs> um, but her name is Sadie, and she is a mix of like a blue healer, a Australian shepherd, a collie, like a lab, or not a collie, a lab, a bunch of stuff. I love her. She's so sweet. She's laundry though. Um, but yeah, she's a cute little puppy. Oh, also, guys, that was so weird. Oh, I did that. Um, I have exciting news. My boyfriend told me the other day that he wanted or was thinking about like coming on an ASMR video with me and doing it with me and ah so excited. I think that would be so cool. Um I've actually been wanting him to do that for a while, but I didn't really mention it to him because I don't want to feel make him feel pressured, make him feel like he had to, you know, on a guilt trip and like make him feel bad like he had to because you know, obviously if I asked him, he'd be like, yeah, of course, even though he wouldn't be comfortable with it, because I didn't think he would be, because he's not always super comfortable, um, with kind of that kind of thing, and he's kind of shy sometimes, but he mentioned it, so stay tuned for a video hopefully coming out with us doing some ASMR or a Q&A or something together. Um, my Q&A survey link will be taken out of my description, which I'm going to write a note down to do that. And that would be closed. Um, obviously, if you guys leave any more questions on my YouTube videos, I will either just reply to them immediately or just let you know that there'll be another Q&A video. Obviously, like, like if I just get one or two questions here and there about, like, Q&A, like, questions, you know, I'll just answer them, like, in my reply. But if I get a bunch, I'll just make another Q&A video. Um, so feedback would be appreciated on whether or not you guys like this. Um, I hope you did, even though I rambled a lot. <laughs> I hope I didn't talk too fast, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's really nice to be filming again, although I feel like everything's gonna get hectic really soon again with school and stuff, because I'm already procrastinating a whole bunch of stuff, so it might be a bit before I film, but I do have videos pre-filmed, so you guys won't be without any. Um, it was super nice to film this video, and I'll post it today or tomorrow, so you guys will see this in a few days, so it'll be kind of nice to post the video and you guys see it immediately after. Um, but again, thank you so much to everyone who like supports me and who left me questions for this video or comments or likes or subscribes um, or even watches my videos. It means a lot, you guys. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helps you to relax and sleep. I really just did talk a whole lot in this video, so I hope some of you got my voice relaxing, otherwise we'll be out of luck. But, if this video wasn't relaxing, be sure to check out my other videos, I guess. Alrighty, I'll end the video now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. 
I hope this helps you relax and sleep. I think I already said that, but enough of this. Crap, did I say welcome back to or welcome to our channel at the beginning? I don't think I did. I think I'm a mess. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. See you next time.